Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on Savoma's channel. As always, this is Alexander Sudrev, and we are in one of the buildings of the Design and Technological Bureau. In this video, let's talk about what works are being carried out today, on Monday. Now we can see the finishing. Work is being done in terms of both walls and the floor. Tile has been laid, and grouting will be done now. All the necessary electrics have been laid, the walls have already been putted, and soon it will be possible to start painting the walls, to start painting works. Let's move on. The corridors have already been tiled. Most of the tiles are already there. Where it has not been laid yet, it will be done very soon. Let's go to the administrative building. In the administrative building, we see that most of the walls are already prepared for painting. Tiles have also been laid, and what is important, a special frame is being assembled, on which glass enclosing structures will be installed in the future. We can see that the seating elements are painted, beams are painted, Fixed foam work and ventilation elements are also painted. Now you are looking at the room of the future showroom. And here the color has been chosen. Here it is. Other ceilings in the corridors, where the entrance group is, they are also painted, but they are gray. If we look around the room, we will see that the degree of readiness of the electrical system is also at a fairly high level. We can see that most of the electrics for the control room have been installed. The tiles have been laid there as well. And the day is not far off when the main room will also be tiled and we will be able to start installing glass partitions. In addition to the ceiling, the links that will support our building are also being painted. Another important point is that all paints are fire resistant and are applied in accordance with the necessary requirements. Here, as you can see, the installation of engineering communication systems such as pipe work and fire sprinkling system is quite active. And we see that all this forms quite interesting elements of the interior. Very often before we were asked a question in the comments, why do you need such high ceilings? You don't need them. However, it turns out that based on all those communications that should be present in any factory, proper factory or any industrial facility, such ceilings are absolutely necessary. First of all, for carrying out all necessary communications and let's remember that this is a firefighting system, cold and cold water supply systems, electrical communications, we see trays. This is telemetry, low current networks, internet, telephony, internal telephony, and much more. So everything that is happening now is a good sign that we are moving towards the completion of the engineering works. And if you look in this direction, we will see active installation of the ventilation system. And despite the fact that the work is being carried out quickly, the products themselves, ventilation elements, continue to arrive and occupy quite a large area of our workshop. This shows that the climatic systems we see outside 
represent a rather serious and solid overall system, and we will have to work on it. The installation of the individual heating system is ongoing. We can already compare how it looked at the beginning and how it looks now. We see good pipework, welding. Everything is quite serious, quite solid, and in the near future we will be installing the water treatment system. And now we have come to one of the entrances, next to the construction headquarters. By the way, there are active works going on there. People are discussing something about how to proceed. Well, now let's look at what is happening on our side outside. Active work is being done to form an excavation, to form a pit, to make a puncture, to connect the storm sewerage system. Right now, the pit has been dug already on our construction site. It's unfastened. In the next few days, a special device, a so-called syringe, will arrive there, which will drill and pierce the ground on the other side of the road. Concrete blocks have also been placed on the other side, the area has been fenced off, a pit has been dug, everything is being prepared for the continuation of this event. And now we are going outside. And what can we see here? Well, where are we standing? We are standing on the heating mains. These are trays in which the necessary engineering communications pass. Not so long ago we demonstrated that everything here was open, it was all hanging in the air. Now we see sand. We also see an excavator doing backfill. It is bypassing very precisely the storm sewer, manholes and other utilities that are actually there on the road. And then the machine comes across. There is still some sanding left to be done throughout this area. The work is being carried out close to compressors and climate systems. This means that in the near future our builders will have to put the climate systems in their rightful place, the platform behind them, and move the compressors inside the building. So the scale of the work is enormous. I really hope that in the near future this whole area will be leveled to the required level and there will be asphalt on which it will be possible to move freely. On the left side of the building, we can also see an interesting piece of work. A drill that is draining the ground. This is quite an interesting and significant activity, as the temporary fence on the left side has been completely dismantled. And now the final fence, the enclosing structure, that will stand for many years to come, will be installed here. Hooray! At the end of this video I can say only one thing. The accelerated pace at which our builders are now working has become possible only thanks to you, our dear viewers, project participants, investors and partners. I would like to remind you that the construction time and the speed of work execution today depend only on the rate of investment inflow. Because so much team has already coped with all other tasks, the working processes have been established and we are definitely moving towards the implementation of our project. Therefore, I think that with our joint efforts we will definitely cope and do everything and succeed in everything and success will definitely await us. Thank you for your participation, for your attention and see you soon!